Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Schneider's Golf. My name is Eric Schneider, and today we're going to be buttoning up the Aero 500. I've been working on getting this Aero going. Uh, you probably saw in some of my previous videos, I talked about the cabinet, the controller, the VFD, and the, and the X, Y, and Z drives. Today, we're going to cover up all the wires and make this look nice and tidy. I'm also going to show you the tool changer working, the spindle running, and we're going to cut a test part. So there's a lot of exciting things that are going to happen today. I don't know if we'll get to everything, but I really want to show you the tool changer working, kind of talk about how a tool changer works. E-stop out. Let's home the machine quick. Come up here, give this a little home push. Okay, so one of the big things that I fought with this VFD was getting my what's called an M19 command to work. Now, what M19 does is it spins the spindle around in a circle, the encoder sees where the tool's at, and it lines it up so that it can slide into the pocket inside of the tool changer. Let me show you what those pockets look like. Okay, so in the tool changer, we have these pockets. A Cat 40 tool has these cutouts. And that's a very specific way that it slides into this keyway here. So you take the tool, the tool changer pushes it in, and it's supposed to slide and line up so that it locks into place inside the tool changer. All right, so having a tool changer really isn't that big of a deal. Most mills have a tool changer, but for me, I had to rebuild my control system, rewire my tool changer, recode part of the macro for it, and I want to show you what a tool change looks like. So really quick, we're gonna show you all of the components that go into changing the tool. I'm gonna to come up to machine, I'm gonna type in tool number four, and we will run our tool change macro here. So you can see the spindle is oriented, we went into the pocket, drawbar is pressed, you'll see that limit switch up there. Spindle's gonna come down, it grabs that tool number four, Away the carousel goes and we have our new tool in the spindle. Doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, learning all that from scratch was quite a big ordeal. And the machine is actually working. This is the mill's big debut cutting its first couple of parts. I cut one yesterday just out of aluminum and we're gonna cut one today really quick just to show you the motion control, the speed, uh, how it's smooth around the corners. It looks really good. It's cutting really nice. So I am very happy with how this mill is running right now. I'm excited to make a bunch of parts on it and have a tool changer. All right, I'm gonna to touch our tool off really quick with our handy dandy wireless MPG. All right, this coolant has been in here just sitting for like a year. So no judgment on the color of my coolant. <laughs> We're gonna run this part quick. Let's do it. I'm excited. Here we go. I'm gonna get tool two in the spindle here. It moves over to tool two. We're gonna snag it out of the tool carousel. And we are ready to rip. Here we go. All right, so this is cutting. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening behind the scenes. We have our coolant pump here that has to be wired up and it's running. We have our VFD here. Shows us all the things that are going on, how many hertz it's running at, how many pulses, or where the pulse counts at, what it sees. Uh, if we come down here, you can see how many amps the motor's drawing. So, a lot of fun information, what I think is cool. 
Um, you can see the RPMs that we're cutting at. So, there's still a lot of cool stuff that you can see on the, the BFT here. You can see each one of the drives is going to different positions. Z is the only one that's not moving right now because it's on a consistent Z height. This counterweight was actually something that I built to keep the spindle head on high. It's got about 400 pounds of sand inside of it. So, he's heavy. We're gonna change the to tool number four. So it's gonna do an M19. Carousel will come in. Gonna pluck the tool out. And tool number four is right here, this little eighth inch end mill. I'm gonna come over, it'll sit down on it. And then Z will move down, and we will resume our machine. Uh, pretty exciting. All right, I'm back from work. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon and 2.30. And I am going to start putting on the spindle motor fan. This is the old one. It's burnout. So similar thing on eBay was way overpriced. So I bought this guy off Amazon. It's almost double the CFM, 35 bucks. Not a bad price. All right, so motor plates, you can see that there's this kind of rubber gasket that is supposed to go between the motor and the fan and it doesn't quite fit correctly as you can see there's way too much covering up the fan so it's not going to work as efficiently so I almost cut my finger off holy frick so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this just a little bit bigger on this metal part make a nice hole so that this will be able to draw more air through because as you can see, there's a fair amount of overlap. It's probably easier to see on this side. As you can see, there's a fair amount of metal overlapping. We don't want that. We want this to be able to suck the full amount of air through. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna cut the circle a little bigger. I'll trace it out, the diameter on this. And we'll make this a little bigger and then we'll get it wired up. Mounted. This motor gets really hot to the touch right now, so this thing should keep it nice and cool. I'm actually going to run it and see how it affects the temperature. So, yeah, I like it. This thing is massive. This is this is going to be a great little addition to my CNC mill. Ooh, fits good. Alright folks, well that is about it. I have all the really important circuits wired, I have all my ins, my outs, my sensors, my limit switches, everything is wired. And so I'm going to go ahead and start putting these channel covers on. We don't want to pull anything out as we're doing it. We also don't want to get electrocuted. around we've got the lube unit working and last but not least we have a working spindle fan here 
don't know if you can see it in there. It's definitely spinning and it's blowing air. So that is exciting. Very cool. Well, it's nice to have this all cleaned up. It looks like I did a semi-professional job, even though I'm a complete noob at this. But we've got our wires coming in. We've got control. We've got contactors working. We've got our VFD working, our Orient working. We have all of our drives working. I am pumped. It's time to make some putters. Thank you for being here. Thanks for enduring my nerdy videos on the control of the CNC mill. We are ready to make some putters. Hope that you had a chance to play some golf over the holidays. Get out and play some golf if you haven't, and I will see you next time. Take care. Don't mind the bet. 